Chapter 3087 passed the qualifiers. All of those people were glaring at Long Chen with killing intent. They had definitely sensed something. Long Chen had killed seven experts targeting the High Firmament Academy. As for Bei Shishi and the others, they had done the same. For so many of their people to have died, the other side must have sensed something. They quickly realized that it was done by Long Chen. Long Chen's middle finger was clearly telling them that it was precisely done by him. However, this place was huge. With the formation blocking spiritual probing, they could only see the closest people, and the people in the distance couldn't see them. But even just these close by people had quite a few hostile powers amongst them. Since that was the case, it was unknown just how many powers were targeting them throughout the entire plaza. I really didn't expect that the High Firmament Academy would be targeted by so many people. We already know the names of over a hundred powers and twenty thousand people. There are still many more that we haven't encountered. He, for some reason, I'm starting to get excited, laughed Lu Mingxuan. It seemed that making a ruckus was very delightful to her. Long Chen, your mood seems to have improved. That killing intent in your eyes has also faded, said Luo Shue with a smile. Long Chen nodded but he quickly had a startling thought. He recalled the dragon expert's words. His purgatory eyes were nourished by negative thoughts. They had already awakened. Although they had been sealed, the dragon expert had said that its energy was constantly growing. It couldn't be sealed forever. The purgatory eyes were also called the eyes of slaughter. Only through killing could their energy be released, and only then could he expel his negative emotions and remain clear-headed. When that disciple of the battle god palace was slain, he also didn't know why his anger would erupt so crazily. But after killing a few enemies, his anger faded, and his mood could even be said to be good. This current state was a warning. His purgatory eyes had been sealed for a long time and even some minor things were starting to provoke his desire to kill. In the High Firmament Academy, he had immersed himself in cultivation, and although he had felt some minor changes in his temper, it hadn't been this obvious. Due to Chu Yang's repeated provocations, his anger had soared. But then he had killed all the experts of the various powers in the Jilin Immortal Land, slaughtering all their disciples and even destroying the Golden Bell Gate. According to reason, his purgatory eyes should have been satisfied. Here in the Nine Prefecture Convention, he felt that something was a bit off. He seemed even easier to anger. Several times, he had forcibly put on a smile and taunted his enemies with words in reply to their provocations, but in reality, he had wanted to kill them all. Today, Luo Zhu's random words made him feel that his purgatory eyes might be related to his cultivation base. After returning from the Jilin Immortal Land, his cultivation base had grown crazily. Perhaps this was related. Long Chen, what are you thinking? Are you afraid? teased Lu Mingxuan. Other than you, when have I ever been afraid of anyone else? said Long Chen. What are you afraid of me for? asked Lu Mingxuan with a wink. Long Chen looked at her, and in the end, he didn't dare to say anything. This seemingly pretty girl might once more drag him through the dirt with her next words. Just at this moment, the next round started, but this time, his opponent managed to dodge his instantaneous attack. However, he had just dodged when Long Chen's fist struck him. The immense power shook the martial stage, and both that person's arms broke. He coughed up blood. Long Chen grabbed his neck. However, after a moment, he let that person go. This wasn't someone targeting the High Firmament Academy. Many thanks for your mercy, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Having narrowly escaped death, that person hastily thanked Long Chen and admitted defeat. That person was truly powerful. His aura hadn't even been fully unleashed, and just with his physical body, he managed to survive Long Chen's punch. He was definitely an expert, but unfortunately, he had encountered Long Chen. This was one of the rules of the Martial Dao Convention. 
they had to be in an ordinary state when they entered. If they were already in battle state, they wouldn't be brought in. If they had to then suppress their aura before entering, then their enemy would already be in and have already entered combat state, then they might be instantly defeated. However, by relying on his powerful physical body, Long Chen didn't need to accumulate power like that. He could directly attack, and so he had a small advantage over his opponents. Bei Shishi and the others all returned. All of them looked at each other curiously. This time, they didn't encounter any experts. The next round started and they defeated some opponents, but they didn't encounter any of their enemies. According to reason, with people being knocked out, they should have higher chances of encountering their enemies. That was because those sects that had often dominated the competition were all very powerful. It seems that just like us, they made their weaker members give up, said Luo Shue. Everyone nodded. Her deduction was accurate, but she also gave some face to the battle god palace's disciples, calling them weaker members and not cannon fodder. After all, they weren't fools. Their disciples came from powerful backgrounds, and as long as they said where they were from, their opponents wouldn't dare to kill them. For so many of them to have still died and so violently with their heads exploding, it was a clear sign of a forceful soul sark. Hence, it was definitely done by Long Chen and the others. However, Long Chen was a bit surprised. Not every sect targeting them should have sensed it. There should still be more that they hadn't encountered. But even after two rounds, they hadn't encountered any of them. Hence, Long Chen started to suspect that these people had secret communication means. Although everything was now left to the Huaian Trading Company to oversee, they were in charge of only the convention. There were definitely other means for those people to communicate secretly. After another round, Long Chen and the others returned safe and sound, except for Luo Ning who returned injured. She was covered in blood. She had clearly encountered a tough opponent. Furthermore, based on her state, it was most likely one of their enemies. Luo Ning managed to trade an injury for a chance to kill her opponent, but she didn't manage to do a soul sark. Luo Ning, very good. The remaining enemies are no longer cannon fodder. They all possess the power to aim for the top hundred. For you to kill him proves that you're powerful, praised Long Chen. Luo Ning's mood, which had been a bit down due to her injury, improved. Just at this moment, a bell rang. Luo Ning smiled. Although it's within expectations, congratulations everyone. We've all managed to get into the top 10,000 of the Martial Dao competition.